What's going on YouTube? It's your boy iFake92 here and I'm back with another Clipper review. Today we're going to be talking about the JRL Fresh Fade 1040s. Alright, so first of all I got these Clippers in on a Friday morning. So I, I used them pretty much all day Friday and all day Saturday. So I, I think I got a pretty good feel. Uh, it took me a while to get used to them, but I think I got a pretty good feel to, to give you guys a review on what I think about them so far. I might do another like a follow-up review, see, because it, it takes a little getting used to. But, um, alright, so first of all, let's talk about the Clipper. If you guys don't know, JRL stands for Just The Right Look, I believe. That's what it says on their website, and this Clipper does look really, really good. It feels good in your hand. It feels like an expensive Clipper. It feels like it was made right. It's not cheap. It looks, it looks... I mean, it is plastic, but it feels solid in your hand. And when you turn it on, you can just you can just hear the little beat. All right, so let's talk about the pros first of all. First of all, the, one of the main pros is the battery life. This thing, I usually use the Babyliss, the Gold FX, and I'm telling you guys, half the time that I'm cutting with the Babyliss, it has the cord in. Just because whenever it doesn't have the cord in, it, it'll last me like four or five cuts, but I'm constantly cutting the whole day. I don't cut five heads and then take a three hour break. Like I'm cutting the whole day. So once I cut like four or five heads, I gotta plug my Babyliss back in and, and the next three or four heads are gonna be corded clippers, you know? So you gotta kinda manage around. Like sometimes you wanna cut a, a, you know, a little kid's head with, without the cord, but your battery's about to die, so you're gonna have to plug it in. And with these, I didn't have that issue at all. Maybe it's because of the dock, but honestly, I feel like they would've lasted me enough without the dock. Just because I feel like they're so efficient in the way they cut. It has a little sign right there that says burden. So every time the clipper bogs up and, and it fills some hair, you'll see a little squares. Uh, uh, let me see. You see how them squares went up? Every time it feels like it's cutting some hair, it turns the motor up. And whenever it's not, it's like at a lower speed. So I feel like that's very efficient. Also, it tells you how many minutes you have left not what percentage of battery because honestly I want to know how many minutes I got left with the clipper not the battery percentage because you know then you got to do your own calculations but if you have the, the the amount of minutes that you have left then you know like hey I got three minutes to finish this haircut or my battery my clippers are about to die so I, I feel like these clippers honestly have one of the best battery lives I tried the cordless seniors and the babbler's gold effects the the cordless magic clips um, what other cordless clipper, man? I think that's about it, but honestly, these right here have like the best battery life. One of the other pros is the dock has two different charging modes. So basically it has a fast charging mode, and whenever you're in fast charging mode, it says it takes three hours to get a full charge. And the only bad thing about fast charging mode is that it puts more wear and tear on the battery that it has. So if you choose the, the, the efficient charging mode, which is the other button, once you push this little button right here on the dock, uh, when you switch to the other, the other kind of charging, it's a six hour charge. It takes six hours for it to fully charge the clippers. But honestly, honestly guys, when I put my clippers in, like maybe if I have like 30 minutes before my next appointment, usually that's enough to re-up re my clippers in. It gives me 200 minutes, which is about three hours, and it tells you exactly how many minutes you have left. So it, it hardly ever takes three hours to get a full charge again, because you never, I never really kill the battery. And I've, you know, I've got real good at putting it back on the dock whenever I'm not using it. So I don't, I'm used to just, you know, throwing it back on my station. And so it took a little bit of wear and tear, but I'm used to just throwing it on the, on the table. And, uh, but now I'm, since I got these, I got more used to just putting them on the dock and that's usually enough. So another pro is these things don't get hot at all. Like I don't, the blade with the Babyliss, I remember when I first got the Babyliss, it had a, 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 a carbon blade something about I mean it was supposed to stay cool but I feel like I got hot way more than my walk my cordless seniors and, and the, all my other cordless clippers even my regular clip like it it felt like it got hot faster than any other clipper anyways with these like I, I don't know that forced air cooling system that it says on there at the very top you see where it says forced air cooling I'm not sure if that really works but one thing I can tell you guys is they did not get hot at all like you, you can touch them and they feel a little bit warm but it's nothing close to to, to the way the my, my gold effects is we get another pro about these is 
how quiet they are. They literally, they sound like like some court, like the masters or, or I think some some corded seniors are probably louder than these. Maybe they're, they're for them to be a wireless clipper and they use a rotary motor. These things are actually really really quiet. So what happens is you can actually hear them cut. And I know I said that about the babblings, but after a while, you, it kind of went away. With these, so far, I used them off all day Friday, all day Saturday, and you can you can hear them cut really, really good. I'm seeing. I don't know if you guys can hear. I got a microphone right here. They're actually really, really, really quiet. All right, so now let's talk about the cons. The first con is the first con is this blade pulls a little bit, and this isn't even the fade blade. This is the regular. This is the regular blade that comes with it, and and it just feels rough, like. Like you can feel it running on my hand. Like if I get like regular clippers, they don't they don't jam up like that when when you're running them on 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 the skin. When when you you're cutting hair and you're going down to zero, these things don't look. They don't really they don't really glide smooth like some regular clippers. So I I, I had a couple of people tell me that they felt kind of rough when I was cutting their hair with them. Don't get me wrong, they don't pull. They cut really really good. They're really sharp, but. I don't know why these clippers are like really really rough on the edges they don't really they don't slide real good so that was a problem when it, it came down to the the ball line and, and when it came time to take the ball line out I didn't have no issues taking it out but you can definitely tell that it it, it dragged a little bit on the skin it wasn't smooth like you know you're used to clippers actually being like smooth when you run them on on the ball line to take the ball line out another con is the guards that it comes with it come with these little weird i didn't even use these honestly you guys so i'm not going to tell you that they're good or bad because i didn't use them i went ahead and, and got these the ones that the jrl universal guards that you can get for them um the guards themselves cut really good but the system is a little weird like so far down to like the one they're about the same so the number three number four number five number two and the number number one guard, they're all pretty much the same. But when it comes down to the 116, this I'm gonna tell you guys. Oh, this right here. When it comes down to this guard right here, the 116. I didn't even use it. I, I didn't even use this guard. This is not a 116. I don't know. It says it's 1.5 millimeters, 116 of an inch to half guard. I didn't really use this. This was my 116 right here. And it, I don't know if you see it. It's 132nd. One th it says it's 132nd of an inch. But this is what I use as the 116. This is what this is what blend. If you see my my uh, uh, how they race the ball line videos, this is what I use to to take out that 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 line from the open blade. Whenever the open blade goes into the one, this is what takes that line out right here. This is that last step. So I didn't even use the 116, and I just wish I knew that when I first got them because the first couple heads I was struggling with the 116 to make it work. So it was just hard to get get used to the guard system and and. They don't really give you much to work with unless you buy these universal guards. And the place where I got them from, uh, I think these clippers usually run for 150. The place where I got them from, they were 130, and the guards were uh, 20 dollars. So it ended up being 150 with the guards. So I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, man, the guard, the guards on here are kind of weird, especially the 116 guard. Like it, it's gonna take some getting used to. And then another con is gonna be the uh, the actual lever, the button on the front that's the lever. It can be a good thing. It's not easy to fade with these. Like I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, if you're just learning to cut and you're you're, you're starting off, don't buy these clippers because it's gonna throw you off. Like you're not gonna be. This is for advanced hair cutters. Like if you're used to cutting, and you know exactly what you need to do, then this you can make this work. But if you're just now starting, you might struggle with this. It might make you slower, and that you don't want to get slower. I mean, I know why they're doing it. I understand. It's just it's just it just doesn't feel right. I wish they had a lever. Like, if it had a lever, this would be the perfect clipper. I was telling my coworker the other day. The blade, I want to try the fade blade, but even though it, it drags a little bit, I can deal with that. But if it had a lever, if this clipper had a lever on it, this would be the ultimate clipper. Like, honestly, like, I would I would pick these up over my Babylons, the gold FX, any day. This is more of a, reminds me of the Wall Seniors. As far as ergonomics, they feel good in your hand. For the, they're so quiet and they cut so smooth. Like whenever you put a, uh, like if you put a number two guard on it or a number one guard, it's gonna cut straight through. Like you're gonna think, you're gonna feel like it's some masters cutting through hair. You guys know how good masters cut through some hair. You can just hear them just. <laughs> That's how this feels. This, this cuts really, really good, really smooth, really strong. If you're gonna deep bulk, if you're gonna give somebody like a, a number four on top or number three on top, when you put them on, it's so light you can just grab it. Like it's it's crazy how good these cut. Like you wouldn't expect them because they look like some shavers. 
They look like some bronze shavers, like the $30 ones that you buy at Walgreens or something. But they cut really, really good. If they just had a lever on it, man, these would be so perfect. This clicky thing, man, it's good. It just takes some getting used to. Like, you're not going to get it right away. You're not going to get used to it right away. It's going to take you a little longer to get adjusted to it. But one good thing I will say about it, when you open it up, when you push the button, when you go down to, to, to when the button goes down, it opens it up. When you go up, it closes it. Uh, one good thing about it is it's spring loaded to go down, so it opens up quick, you know. So opening up is way faster than closing it, which is good because you want you want to cut less in a hurry. You don't want to like accidentally close it and cut more than you should. If anything, you'll accidentally open it and not cut as much. So you're all right. I'm, I'm glad they did it that way where it opens up spring loaded. It doesn't close spring loaded. So you can just feel it when it, when it opens up. You push this little button right here and it just, it shoots down and then you can just, you can just close it little by little. The bad thing about that is it's hard to get like halfway open. If you're in a hurry and you want to get the, get it halfway open you're gonna have to close it all the way and then do like two little notches up and that's gonna take longer than you know usually just get your lever in halfway really if it's closed and you want to get it to anything else other than open you're gonna have to open it all the way first and then close it one notch at a time which is kind of it's, it's ridiculous if you if they made it in the front so it can be faster it opens up faster but honestly me I, I I didn't have that much of a problem with it because I don't fade halfway open. I either have it all the way closed, all the way open, and I just I just ride the heel, which does have a heel right there. I just ride the heel to get that line out. So I don't really have a problem with you know it being all the way open, all the way closed. I don't really need the uh, in between steps, like you know, uh, you gotta be just halfway. Like I don't I don't really fade like that. I just it's either all the way open or all the way closed and that's how I fade. But uh, overall man, if I were to rate these clippers, the quality of this clipper is going to be a 10 out of 10. The reliability, I can't really tell you yet because I just got them. The way they feel, they might end up being like an 8 or 9 out of 10. And the only reason I'm giving it an 8 or a 9 is because sometimes I push that power button and it doesn't turn on right on the front. I gotta push it again and then it'll turn on. And maybe I just don't push it in all the way or maybe... I don't know what it is, but I don't want that to, I don't know if that's going to become an issue later on. So the, the durability of it, I would, I would give it like an eight, eight, eight or nine out of 10. Cutting wise, 10 out of 10. They cut really, really good, really smooth. If you do, if you can use these for a uh, flipper over comb, they're going to knock it right off. Like up there with like, a, with the Oscar Octane, like as detachable as these things, just cut through, through hair like hot knife on butter. Like they, they the, the quality of these, man, they just, they cut so good. And uh, the looks, to that's just, you know, the looks is optional. To me, it's a 10 out of 10, man. It just looks good. It feels good in your hand. It's nice and quiet. You can hear them when they turn on. When you put them on the dock, they just, you know, they, they sound really good. And uh, the presentation, man, it was just good, man. They, they came in this nice little metal box. It almost looks like a little ammo box from the Army, but uh, I tried to take the bottom piece out and it, they kind of glued the bottom piece to it, so I don't really think you can empty the whole box out and put something else in there, but man, they, 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 the presentation of these is, is smooth, man. I like them. So over, overall, I would give these clippers, I give them a solid 9 out of 10. And, and the only reason they're not a 10 out of 10 is because I don't have that lever. They don't have the lever. You know what? I'm going to make that an 8 out of 10. They're going to knock off one point because I don't have a side lever, which I would rather have. This clicky thing is good. I understand. Maybe I'll get used to it and I'll get proficient with it. But we want a lever, man. If you put a lever, there's nothing wrong with the lever. If you put a lever on it, man, these clippers would be perfect. And maybe they won't be detachable, you know, with the lever, but I don't mind because the lever goes a long way. And I'm gonna knock off another point just because, like I said, they drag when you when you're cutting with them. They just feel like they drag a little bit. So, but overall, man, uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. I'm usually real good about that. And uh, yeah, this is Gerald Fresh Fresh Fade 1040s. Um, definitely go try them if you're if you've been cutting for a while. You, you're confident in your system and how you cut. Uh, man, try these out, man. There's nothing wrong with trying new clippers out. I don't have no problem like a lot of people use the same clippers their whole life like those are their clippers and that's it there's nothing wrong with that you know that works for you that's perfect but if you like to try new clippers 
uh, try these out, man. They're a little underrated and kind of unheard a little bit because, you know, like I said, there's always, you know, you got the Walls and the, and the uh, uh, Andes. You got Austers, but this is a new company. It's a new Clipper. Come out, man. They're really good. I'll recommend them. 8 out of 10. Uh, I might do another review, let you guys know how they end up cutting later on. But yeah, man, appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and uh, put a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. And uh, I'm sorry i kind of been a little inconsistent, but I should be back. And I should start posting more consistently. But uh, shoot, I'm all the way up to 150 subscribers now. That might not be a lot, but to me, man, <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. So, uh, all right, appreciate you guys.